Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of LWC interview preparation series. In previous videos of this series, we have covered almost all the questions which can be asked in LWC interviews. So please watch my previous videos as well. Those will be very helpful for you to crack LWC interviews. Alright, so in today's video, we will cover scenario based interview questions. Those are generally asked into Salesforce LWC interviews. So please watch this video till the end. And you will definitely found many important questions in this video. So let's start today's first question. That is, can we call lightning screen flow inside LWC component? Then we can say from winter 23 release, we can call our screen flow inside LWC components as well. And Salesforce launched new out of box lightning flow component. Using that, we can call our screen flow inside LWC components. Also, I have created a separate detailed video in which I have showed you like how you can call your skin flow inside a custom LWC component. So you can refer that video as well for more details and you can find link in the description. Okay. And one more counter question can be asked by interviewers like can we call LWC component inside a screen flow? Then we can say this is also possible means we can call our screen flow inside LWC and vice versa is also possible. Okay. Next question we have, can we call LWC component in Visual Force pages? Then answer will be yes. We can call LWC components anywhere in the Salesforce like Visual Force pages, Quora components, inside Salesforce pages like app page, home page, record page and community and out of Salesforce as well we can use with the help of lightning out feature. Okay. Now if we discuss about like how we can call in Visual Force pages, then we can say this is a three step process. So first step is we need to add lightning component javascript library in visual force page and second step is we need to create and reference a standalone or a dependency app and in that dependency we need to define our lwc component so we can say directly we can't use lwc component in visual force but with the help of aura dependency app we can call that in visual force pages and at last we need to write javascript code to call the lwc components so you can refer this example. So you can see here Apex include lightning. So this is helpful to import the JavaScript library over here for lightning components. And this div is the container where we want to load our LWC component. So this is the JavaScript code that we require to call a LWC component in Visual Force pages. So over here we are referencing the Aura dependency app. And this is the name of our component demo LWC. And this is the container name like where we want to load it. So this is the this div ID. And if you want to perform some callback action that we can do over here. Okay. So in nutshell, yes, we can call our LWC components in visual force pages as well. Okay. Next we have, can we use LWC component in community or experience cloud? Then answer will be yes. As I said in last question, LWC component can be used anywhere in Salesforce and in meta config file. We can define where we want to use this component. So if you can see in this image, in target section, we can add our targets for component. Like as per this configuration, our component can be used at app page, home page and community page. And if we want to use it in record pages or any other places in Salesforce, that we can define over here in targets. So one counter question may be asked to you like as we discussed we need to define targets wherever we want to use this component. So do we need to add targets to use component in Aura or Visual Force pages? Then we can say no. We can use component in Aura and Visual Force without specifying into targets. Okay. Next we have can we subscribe platform events in LWC? Then you can answer like yes we can subscribe platform events in LWC components as well with the help of EMP API module. So let's see in the example. So if you can see over here on line number two, we have imported subscribe, unsubscribe and other methods from EMP API module. And on line number four, you can see we have defined our platform event name. So event is the prefix and test underscore event underscore underscore is the platform event name. Okay. Now we have defined a handle subscribe event. And here on line number 16, with the help of subscribe method, we are subscribing our platform event. So as a first parameter, we are passing channel name and this is the replay ID in the second parameter and in third parameter, we need to pass callback method. Okay. So whenever this platform event will get triggered at that moment, this callback method will be called. 
so whatever logic we want to execute on platform event trigger that we need to define in callback method okay so whenever platform event will trigger at that moment this callback method will directly call okay and in connected callback we have called this handle subscribe method so whenever this component get load at that moment we are subscribing our platform event okay you may have different scenario but for the demo purpose i have subscribed this platform event on connected callback and in disconnected callback we are unsubscribing our platform event okay so this is how with the help of emp api methods you can subscribe and unsubscribe platform events in lwc okay next we have can we call external apis from lwc component without apex then we can say yes we can call external apis from lwc component itself with the help of javascript fetch apis and generally we use apex to make call outs but let's say we don't want to perform any server side operation with api response in our salesforce org and we require data to only for display purpose in lwc component then why should we go with the apex in that case we can use javascript fetch apis to make callouts okay and we need to add api domain in csp trusted sites this is just like we are adding our domain in remote site settings or named credentials so when we are calling external api from lwc component with the fetch api in that case we need to add domain in csp trusted sites and over here you can see the example so this is the simple code to make call out from lwc components so with this fetch method in the first parameter we need to pass the endpoint and in the second parameter we can pass the other http options like method type and body and headers and this is the example with promises and you can also use async and await in this case and for this also i have created a separate video in which i have demonstrated all these things in practical so you can refer that video as well and i will give link in the description next we have can we use expressions in lwc component i mean can we write conditions or any expressions like here i want to show this div when total amount is greater than 500 so can we add this kind of conditions in lwc component then answer will be no lwc doesn't support expressions in html file in this case we can create getter properties and this is an example of getter properties so here in javascript file we can write our logic and return response from here so i have added condition over here and i am returning boolean value from here and this is how you can refer that getter property in html file so if anyone asks you related kind of scenarios then you should tell them like we can use getter properties in such kind of scenarios okay next we have can we use manage package component inside custom lwc components it means let's say we have installed a manage package in our org and in that manage package we have many lwc components now the question is can we use those manage package components in our custom lwc components okay so we can use manage package components in app builder pages but if we talk about using them into custom lwc components then as of now this is not possible we will get an error like attempting to reference cross namespace module okay and next we have how to create reusable methods in lwc which can be used in multiple components so this is a very basic requirement when we are working on real-time applications where we need to use same methods at multiple places so to create reusable methods in lwc we can create utility modules and this is a simple component without html file means after creating the component we should delete html file and in javascript file we can write our common methods and export them and in other component we can import those methods wherever we want to use them and i have already created a video in which i have explained in detail like how you can create utility module and i will share link in the description okay and one more related question can be asked like can we say css as well in multiple components then we can say yes this is also possible we can create css module in this case and i have created a separate video on this also and we'll give that link in the description so if you want to learn in detail then you can refer that video okay next we have can we display multiple html templates in lwc component then we can say yes we can have multiple html files in component bundle and render them conditionally with the help of render method 
So you can see in this image, we have bank account type component and we want completely different UI as per account type. So I have created two HTML files and imported them here. Okay. And in this render method, we can check our conditions and return which HTML file we want to render. Though you can use if true and false directory as well, but when you want to change complete look and feel, in that case, we should prefer multiple HTML files instead of mixing all the different styles in single file. Okay. Next we have how we can pass data from HTML to JS controller in LWC. Okay. So you know LWC doesn't support two-way binding. Two-way binding means when value gets changed in HTML file, that should be automatically updated in JavaScript. And where value gets changed in JavaScript file, that should be automatically reflected in HTML file. And LWC support only one-way binding means when value gets changed in JavaScript file, that will be reflected on HTML. But what if, if we have changed value on UI and now how that value will be accessible at JavaScript controller? So for that, in LWC, we do not have any out-of-box feature. We need to write our custom logics for that. So first thing is, we can create event handler for every input control. And in JavaScript file, we can read values. So you can see here in this example, we have a text box and created on blur event. And this event handler will get called when value get changed. Now in JavaScript file, in the handler method, we can write code like this to read the value of the text box, okay? So this is how we can get updated value in the controller with the help of event handlers. So in this case, we need to create event handler for each and every event. But what if, if you have lots of controls like 20 controls on UI, then it will be very difficult to create event handler for each and every control and code also looks messy. So in this case, we can create generic event handler and we can add data attributes on controls and with the help of those data attributes, we can update values in JS controller. So you can see over here, we have two controls over here, first name and last name. And we have created a data attribute over here, data prop name with both controls. And we have used same event handler on both controls. Now, if you'll see the JavaScript code, then first we are reading the property name with the help of data attribute. So in this property name, we will get like which property value we want to update like first name or last name. And this UI control is the object in which we have properties first name and last name and this is how dynamically we can update values of properties in the object and do let me know in the comments if you require a real-time demo on this i'll create and upload it for you because this is very important and helpful to know okay next we have can we do card operation in lwc without custom apex so we can say yes with the help of lightning data services we can perform card operation without writing single line of apex code and we can use base components and wire adapters to perform card operations. These are the pre-built features of Lightning Data Services. So we can use them and we can perform card operation without writing our custom code. And I'm planning to create a separate video on this in which I'll cover full card operation. Okay. Next we have how to pass data from LWC component to Aura component. Okay. So you know we can call our LWC components in Aura components. But vice versa is not possible. Like we can't call our Aura component in LWC component. So if you want to pass data from LWC component to Aura component, then we need to understand how they are added on DOM. Are they in parent-child relationship or individual? So if components are in parent-child relationship, then custom events can be used. Like with the help of custom events, we can pass data from child component to parent component. And if they are individual, then we can use PubSub or Lightning Messages services. And nowadays we should prefer Lightning Messaging services because this will help us to communicate between LWC, Aura, Visual Force and all the platforms. Okay. So in nutshell, if components are in parent-child relationship, then we can pass data with the help of custom events. And if they are individual, then we can pass data with the help of PubSub and Lightning Messaging services. Okay. Next we have how we can control button visibility as per object permission in LWC. So for example, let's say we have a custom LWC component for contact list. Now we want to show a contact to delete button, but that should be as per the profile permission. Like if we have delete permission in contact object, then only that button should be visible. So in this case, what we can do, 
we can import get object info method from UI object info API module. And using this, we can get all the metadata about object, including fields, relationship, record types, and permissions. And this is an example, like we can import this method over here. And with the help of wire decorator, we can get all the metadata of object. And accordingly, we can add condition on the button in HTML. Okay. Next, we have how to pass HTML from parent component to child component in LWC. So till now we have discussed multiple times to pass data from parent component to child component. But let's say we have a scenario in which we want to pass HTML markup from parent component and render that into child component. Means we want to make our child component more dynamic and content of child component can be passed from parent component. So in this kind of situation, we can use slots in LWC. And we can say slot is a placeholder for markup that a parent component pass. And in LWC, we have two types of slots. First, we have default slots. So when we want to pass only one HTML markup, then we can use default slots. And you can see here in this image, this is the parent component. So when we are calling child component, then with child markup, we can pass additional markup as well. And that will be injected in child component. So this is the child component HTML. And you can see on line number three, we have slot. And whatever we have passed from line number three to five, this will be rendered at line number three in child component. Okay. And second, we have named slot. So when we want to pass multiple markups, then we have to give them name, which is helpful for child to render them. So this is an example of named slot. So here we have given the name first and second. And in child component HTML, we have same name slots. So while rendering in the child component, it will render according to the name. And we can have only one default slot in a component. Okay. So in that cell, when we have a requirement in which we want to pass HTML markup from parent component to child component, then we can use slots in LWC. Next we have how we can do two-way communication through same LMS like component one to component two or vice versa. So let me explain this question a little bit more to you. So let's refer this image. Here we have two unrelated components, means not parent-child component. Now we want to send data from component one to component two using lightning messaging services, that is LMS A. And using same LMS A, we want to pass baked data from component two to component one. And now if we talk about answer, then we can say technically this is possible like we can publish and subscribe event in the same component for same LMS. But when we publish data from component one, then component one subscription will also get called. It means wherever we have subscribed this LMS that will be notified when published data, whether it is from same component. Okay. So if we use same LMS to do vice versa communication, then this is possible. But we need to check from where this subscription get called else you will be notified from same component as well. But if you use different LMS in both components, then this will work fine because where we are going to subscribe different LMS in both components. I know this is harder to understand in theory, but do let me know in the comments if you want a separate video on this. Okay. Next we have why LWC components perform better than Aura components. So this question I have already explained in part one video of this series and there I have explained in detail. But in nutshell, we can say LWC built on latest web standards. Due to this, LWC is extremely lightweight and efficient in memory management. And as you know, browser only understand three things to render a web page that is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in LWC, mostly we write code in native HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So there is no extra abstraction layer available and we are writing code in browser understandable format. So obviously browser will render LWC components quickly. So that's it for this video. In this series, I have tried to cover almost all the questions which can be asked into LWC interview. And still, if you have any other questions to discuss, then please do let me know in the comments or you can send me over the mail that you can find in the description. So I will try to cover those questions as well. And if you feel this video helped you, then please like this and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.